ಮಾಂಡೂಕ್ಯ ರಹಸ್ಯ ವಿವೃತಿ ಬೈ ಶ್ರೀ 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 ಸಚ್ಚಿದಾನಂದೇಂದ್ರ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಸ್ವಾಮೀಜಿ ಹೊಳೆ ನರಸೀಪುರ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇನ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟ್ರಿ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ನೋ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶಾಯ ನಮಃ ಸೆವೆಂತ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ದಿ ವೇದಾಂತಿಕ್ ಡಯಲೆಕ್ಟಿಕ್ and now for the question of the dialectic had godapada his own critic of the understanding and reason or was he obliged to borrow one from another source since no absolutism can thrive without the dialectic professor murthy says dialectic is a self conscious spiritual movement it is necessarily a critic of reason this is not possible without the consciousness of the opposition of the thesis and the antithesis there must be at least two view points or patterns of interpretation di- uh, diametrically opposed to each other again philosophy when cultivated seriously and systematically leads to intermi- uh, interminable and uh, total conflict dialectic is implex- implicit implicit in the philosophy dialectic is at once the consciousness of this intermi- interminable and total conflict in reason and the attempt to resolve it look at it from this thought position it must be confessed that there is no possibility of a dialectic in the upanishads the upanishadic seers do not concern themselves with the different uh, philosophical standpoints and views of the real being pioneers in the field they had not before them many right or wrong views to criticize and to condemn whence then did godapada derive his dialectic the extant literature about the about advaitism is too meager for us to say with uh, any definiteness definiteness whether or not dialectic in this sense of the term was in, uh, indigenous to the system but this does not matter for our present purpose for we have seen that the madhyamika dialectic is not after all very predominant in godapada's work he may have utilized it for what we know for the purpose of his avita nyaya indirect proof of ajati based upon pure rationalization but the question is is there any critic of reason and experience in his work at all and if so what was his source for that my answer to this question is yes there is a critic visible to an assiduous seeker which governs the whole of godapada's thought and his source is that one fountain head of knowledge to every devote of hindu devote hindu the upanishads themselves true the upanishadic sages do not exhibit any consciousness of the conflict in reason and therefore cannot lay claim to a critic of reason like that of nagarjuna they never show any anxiety to examine different theories of reality with the hope of transcending conceptual knowledge by that means they do not propose to construct an intellectual framework exhausting all possible categories of the mind and then proceed to a thorough examination of each till it is reduced to a state of inconsistency of self contradiction indeed their way and goal lay quite in another direction and their method was quite suited to their aim they seem to have felt the futility of merely analyzing the faculty of reason for it can only examine but can never create facts its one insistent demand is consistency everywhere and consistency may not always characterize facts reason is perfectly justified in demanding self consistency from a proposed theory and it has the right to counsel us to throw away any hypothesis which exhibits inconsistencies in its makeup but when a fact universally recognized as such discloses any inconsistencies reason must simply bear with them the only function then open to it will be to seek an explanation 
such seems to have been guiding principle of the rishis who went on questioning life and experience kona atma kim brahma which is our real self which the highest reality underlying all of phenomena koyamatme ti vayam upasmahe katarasa atma who shall we devote ourselves to as our self and which is that self so chandog upanishad and aitiriya upanishad kasmin bhagavo vijnate sarvam idam vijnatam bhavati which being known all this becomes known unda upanishad recognizing the fact that reason can work only on facts supplied they try to rummage all the sources of such supply not only the senses and the mind but also intuition not only the waking state but also dream and sleep which we can only intuit but never perceive reason then working upon experience gained through intuition of the three states can re- dissolve all our doubts and difficulties connected with the life as restricted to the waking state this examination of the three states alone conducted on right lines can disclose the nature of truth and reality now this is the vedantic direct the critic of experience as a whole revealed in the upanishads especially the mandukya on which godapada bases his system of thought this may or may not be called philosophy according to our notion of the significance of the term in any case it is a successful attempt to realize the ultimate reality and the method used is unique in this respect that it covers life in all its aspects and is hence able to give us a final knowledge of reality it is not to be compared to the method either of theological discussions or even of speculate a uh, speculative thought systems which confine their attention to facts of the waking state i have endeavored in my sanskrit uh, uh, sanskrit uh, introduction to the Ma- uh, mandukya rahasya vivarti to explain the salient features of this method in some detail readers interested in the subject are recommended to study the whole of the godapada's work in the new commentary in which the principles of this uh, special method are reiterated at every step next we have section 3 godapada system compared with the mahayana systems in that first one godapada and vijnanavada hmm. i think we shall continue this in the next session hari ram sarve jana sukhino bhavantu loka samastha sukhino bhavantu om tat sat bhagavan godapada acharya charana arvinda arpitamastu bhagavan adi shankar bhagavat adi shankar acharya charana arvinda arpitamastu shri 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 sachidanandendra satsuti महास्वामी चरणारविंदर्पितमस्तु सर्वे जना सुखिनो भवन्तु ओम तत्सत्